Okay, this is Tell the Truth Sports Radio, and I got one of the best assistant coaches in America, Mike Nardi at Villanova. First of all, congratulations on a great season. I, I felt you had an awesome season, man. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, we, we were extremely proud of this group and just everything that they went through from start to finish. Um, you know, we bat battled with injuries and just different, different th things throughout the season that most teams go through. Um, but this crew really just – they got better every single game and, you know, even games that we um, won, we still learned from, you know, obviously games we lost, we, uh, we got better and uh, they just had a great attitude and, and stuck together the whole year. Justin Moore, that was the one that heard it. I hated to see that because I hate when a team is compromised going into the final four like that. Yeah, that was uh, that was a huge, uh, you know, just hit hit for us because, he was so vital to our success and his ability on both ends of the floor, you know, offensively, probably our best offensive player and uh, just all around on three levels could score the basketball and make plays for other people. And then defensively, you know, we would, we would have him guard the best player on the other team every night and he could switch. He could guard one through five. Oh yeah. Um, so we, you know, I, I think apart from him on the offensive end, just defensively really changed. And uh, our style of play moving forward without him, uh, we couldn't go as small as we would have liked at times just because uh, we didn't have him. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to talk about the season. It was more the sum was better than the parts. You played as completely as one unit. You didn't have a guy that could just get it to the, you know, they were not super duper star for a score. Everybody did their part and systematically you beat teams from offense to defense. It was a pure team effort to me for what I saw. Yeah. And I, I think our guys as a whole, um, they're, you know, they're complete players, you know, and they can all score, they can all pass, they can make plays. And then defensively, you know, we, we like to switch a lot. So all of our guys could guard different, oh, you know, yes. different positions. And, you know, I think collect collectively as a group, what we try and get our guys to do is just, you know, play play together. And uh, I think that's the best thing that we did this year as a team. Um, and we had different guys step up, you know, on different nights. Um, you know, obviously most consistently was Colin Gillespie and Justin Moore and Jermaine Samuels. Yes. You know, and then towards the end of the year, Caleb Daniels really got going um, and Brandon Slater and Eric Dixon, you know, again, like you're, you're, we're naming the whole team, you know, guys that came off the bench as well. And um, losing Jordan Longino was another hit that we, took, Oh yeah. Um, you know, with a young guy that really started to, to come on, you know, midway through the year. So yeah, just as a, an entire group, I felt like everybody had their hand in it and uh, that was our strength. Where do you get these point guards from? You had Archie Akino, and then now you have Gillespie. You always have these high-level IQ point guards that know how to run the offense, know how to run even when the shot clock going down, super smart, uh, gets everyone, plays good defense. You have all these high IQ point guards every year. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's uh, – we're, we're just very fortunate to get the guys that we get, you know, that want to get better. Um, and I and I think most importantly, our older guys just passing down the tradition, you know, and guys just bringing the younger guys along, you know, like Ryan Archidiakono, he he took Jalen Brunson under his wing, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then when Colin came as in as a freshman, Jalen Brunson did that for him. Um, so just being passed down from, you know, guy to guy, I think has made our program special. And you know, obviously those guys are great players. So, you know, we're really fortunate just to have had them be a part of, of, our, of this program. Right at this moment, I have Jay Wright as an all-time great coach because the thing I like about him is you could have a fast-breaking team. You could have a different type of team like with Bridges and then like when you had Archiacono when you won the first one. Uh, and now you had this one where the, the sum is better, even better than the parts. It's a systematic type of team. It didn't matter what style. He looks at the team and has that adaptability as a coach. That's why I have him as one of the greatest coaches in college history right now. Yeah, I mean, I obviously I think with our success, I, it'd be hard to disagree with you. Um, you know, and I can't speak for coach, but, you know, I think one thing about him is that he just takes pride in our guys. He takes pride in Villanova basketball. Um, and the wins and losses, 
you know, and the championships aren't really as important as developing our guys as people um, academically. And then obviously each guy wants to get to the, you know, to the highest level and play in the NBA. And that's, you know, one of his main priorities. Um, and within doing that, you know, we've, we've had a lot of success and, you know, I, I agree with you. I think he is one of the best coaches, but there's a, there's a, there's a ton of them that have, you know, done amazing things in this game. And I, I think he's, he is very humble and he respects those guys. You did a terrific job too, as assistant coach. Uh, is there any aspirations to be a head coach? Yeah, that's definitely in the, uh, you know, in the cards and whenever that time comes, you know, I'll, I'll be uh, ready for the opportunity. Um, I love who I'm working for and who I'm working with. You know, I, I really enjoy our staff and, you know, I, I bleed blue and white, you know, I, I've, I've really loved Villanova and I love being there. So um, whenever that day comes, you know, I'll, I'll hopefully make the right decision, but, you know, I'm extremely happy where I'm at right now and uh, just trying to get better and learn from coach as much as I can. I think you'll be a great coach because you got that, uh, Jay Wright wisdom that you're going to take <laughs> with you to wherever you go. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, as a former player, I think you kind of, you kind of understand that you need the players, you know, you need, you need good players in order to win. And we, we, we say it all the time. Like it's you guys, you know, we're, we're lucky to have, have the type of guys that we get, but at the end of the day, you could be the greatest coach in the world. And if you don't have guys that can make plays and, you know, do what our guys do, it really doesn't matter. You know, so we're just, you know, we're, we're honored and, and we appreciate the guys that we get and we just try and do the best with them. I want to break this down. I want you to respond to this. The Villanova way. You you give me your response to that. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's uh, it's being a part of something bigger than yourself. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's it's just learning how to be a part of something, but still having your own individual goals. You know, and we want everybody to reach those. And we just create a plan for each guy, you know, from top to bottom. Um, and each guy's role is different, but their status is the same. You know, so we treat everybody the same, no matter who you are, whether you're the best player on the team and Colin Gillespie or you're, you know, Kevin Voigt, who's our walk on. You know, we we take pride in, in each individual guy and what they bring. And uh, the tradition, I think, is the is the most important thing, you know, and in coach's mind, everybody who has came before us, you know, and him um, are a huge part of this, you know, and no matter if it was a different era or a different coach, uh, it's the, the tradition of Villanova basketball and it's the Villanova community. Um, so, you know, I, I just think that's pretty much it. And then you know, obviously our, our thing that we live by every day is attitude, um, you know, and that's, that's just not in basketball, but that's in life, you know, just trying to teach these guys that, you can't control everything, you know, that happens to you, but you can, you know, respond um, in a positive way and you can try and push through and learn from it. And I really think that's what we try and do each and every day with our guys. Now, next year, uh, Brian Antoine's coming back, right? Yeah. I mean, that's my again, breakout a, guy next year. That's going to be the guy I, I'm, I'm pinpointing. And next year you got a kid Armstrong from St. Peter's. He is serious. He's you're going to probably change your style a little more fast breaking because Jay Wright can adapt like that. But your team next year, watch out for Armstrong. I just want to tell all my audience that. Yeah, I mean, you know, Brian Antoine has been through a, a lot of things here. And, uh, you know, we were amazed by by his attitude and his commitment. And, you know, a lot of people which, you know, from the outside just haven't seen the time, you know, that he's put in and the things that he's dealt with, you know, with injuries and, um, you know, his development has been hindered by those injuries, you know, and it's unfortunate and he's a great kid and he's going to continue to get better and continue to work. And um, he's had a great attitude. So, you know, I don't think you're far off by that. And as long as he sticks with it and he continues to get better and work, um, you know, he had going into last year, he had a great off season. Um, and then he dealt with some things and injuries and, you know, kind of set him back again and then kind of got healthy again. And now, you know, towards the end of this year, started playing a lot more and he's continuing to develop and get better. So, um, you know, looking forward to really working with him this spring and summer and, and getting him ready for next season. I want to talk about the Patrick school tree. Let's talk about Shaheen Holloway. What a job he did. 
Yeah, I'm extremely, you know, just happy and proud for Shaheen. I mean, you know, we go way back, mm -hmm. um, obviously, to St. Pat's. And he was a guy that mentored me and used to always come back to St. Pat's and uh, play against us in the summertime when he was still really, really good. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoy just sharing things with him. And, um, and then obviously his, you know, the way he's climbed in this coaching world, it's, it's incredible. And I'm extremely happy for him and his family. And he's, he's a worker, you know, and he's put himself in a great position and, you know, Obviously, I hope he does well at Seton Hall, but just not when he's playing Villanova. <laughs> I understand. That's a rivalry now. Now, I want to talk about your career. I had top 10 of my favorite players. There's Dewan Wagner. There's a lot of my Elizabeth homies, but you're up there as one of my favorite basketball players. I love watching one of the greatest performances in New Jersey high school history was a county tournament where you pretty much had one leg and you played against Elizabeth. Didn't yeah. win, but just went off. Yeah. And even yeah. Elizabeth fans talk about how good you played. This we'll talk about that game. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate that. There's, you know, it's hard to put me in that, in those talks, man. There's been a ton of great players from New Jersey. And Oh no, this is my um, personal I, top 10. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 my I, personal I, I favorite players. That. You're on there, man. And there's guys that in the audience at different games, We'll talk about the old school and they bring your name up. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. And, you know, I just, I was brought up by great coaches, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I grew up in Linden and I started playing at the Linden PAL and Bryce Street. And, you know, I had a bunch of guys that just taught me the game and then was fortunate enough to play for uh, Pat McGlory um, at Seoul Middle School, who um, whose father was Red McGlory at, uh, at St. Pat's. He was the athletic director there. Um, so obviously there was a connection and then, you know, playing for Kevin Boyle, that really changed my life, um, changed my career. And, uh, he took me to that next level, you know, and I, I'm just really lucky to have played for such a great, great coach and a great guy that, you know, was like a father figure to me. Perfect lead in. What about Kevin Boyle and his legacy? Look at Kyrie Dellenbert, uh, Ben Simmons, Russell, look at all the players. Look at, look at the kid going to Duke. Uh, look at all the star players from the Patrick School to Mount Verde. I, I talked to him. I said, we're going to do a whole show dedicated to him. Um, yeah. But think about all the great players that he coached. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, the, I think probably one of the best ones was Shaheen Holloway. Oh, yeah. You know, that was the guy that really initially um, broke through the, you know, the national scene and really took Coach Boyle and St. Pat's and put him on a map. Um, and he was doing it as a freshman. You know, so um, it, there's a long list and, and it's incredible the you know, the amount of players that he's put in the NBA and um, just the, the lives that he's affected in such a positive way. Um, you know, he's he's a tremendous coach, but I think all of us that have played for him just know how great of a person he is as well and how much he sacrificed for each one of us, um, you know, as a coach. Um, but, yeah, it's it's tremendous. And he's one of the best to ever do it on any level. Um, so just extremely proud to be a part of that tree. Okay. Finally, what is it going to take for you to get to next year, get to the final four? And we do this interview when you're in the final four and I'm super excited. I'll be pulling <laughs> for uh, you guys. What it, would it take for you to get back there? Yeah. Sorry. We, sorry. We missed it this year. We didn't get a chance to touch, touch base. That was my fault. We I missed your text. I was no, we're, furious, but we're, I'm glad we did it now to talk about your yeah, whole career. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, we were, we were in it, man. This year was, was, you know, we were get, trying to get prepared and everything. And it's, it's an awesome time. It, it really is an unbelievable experience. And, you know, we never go into a season talking about, um, you know, winning championships or winning a certain amount of, of games um, and putting that type of pressure on our team. Um, you know, we just go in and try and get better every day, you know, and that's really our mentality. Um, and there's a lot of things that go into, into getting to a final four, you know, I think most importantly is you got to be healthy, mm -hmm. you know, and that's one of the, one, one of the hardest things to really overcome. Um, and it's unfair when you, when, if you do put those expectations on your guys, because you just don't have control of certain things, you know, and for instance, with Justin Moore going down, um, you know, we felt like we were one of the best teams and Absolutely. you lose your, you know, you, you lose your best player and you got to figure out a way because no one feels sorry for you, you know, and we did our best, you know, and obviously we missed him a lot, 
You know, well, I felt um, like you were going to win the whole thing if he played, and we'd be doing this show after you won the championship. I, I guess I felt that highly of that that young man. Yeah, I mean, we, we felt like we were playing our best basketball and things were really clicking, you know, at the right time. And again, like that's our goal. You know, we want to be the playing the best Villanova basketball by the end of the year because um, we feel like that will always give us our best chance. And, you know, we we kind of we got lucky in the Big East tournament. You know, we really our first game against St. John's, we had the battle back and our guys showed a lot of perseverance mm -hmm. and again, had a great attitude and didn't get down on themselves and you know, we're fortunate enough to win that. And then, you know, we went on a pretty good run in the tournament. Um, we played against some great teams. So, again, next year's team, I, I feel really good about who we have coming back. Uh, obviously, the guys that we have coming in, um, you know, we're, are going to be very good players and, and they're young. Um, but who knows, man? We got a lot of work to do. We got to get back to, you know, just getting these guys and, and their habits and uh, – Hopefully, if we can do that, you know, maybe we give ourselves another chance. Thanks a lot, man. Terrific job by you. Terrific job. Thanks a lot. You got it, Ron.